Okay, in this part, you will learn how to write the EPC. Okay, first you make sure you have successfully connected the UHRFID reader into PC. If success, the information will display here. Okay, now let's go to the EPC G2 test tab. Okay. Uh, first, let's query tag. Okay. This is the U code eight uh, text. So, and uh, so if we want to write uh, text, we must use these uh, blocks. And there was some there were password EPC TID user for memories and. TID cannot be right, and password and EPC and a user can be right. Okay. So, mm, first, uh, first, let's check the U code eight chip memory block. Okay. Open the data sheet. Okay, is U code eight memory, a reserve memory, EPC memory, TID, and this configuration word is such as uh, tag identifier. So it's special functions of U code eight. So I need to uh, care about this part. So we just focus on this reserve memory, EPC, and TID, and now we are write the EPC, so I just, uh, so you can see that the size is 128 bit, and it means 128 bit, which means 32 hex or the length is uh, 8 plus 16 so the length is 8 ok total length is 8 so let's first read the text so read I was starting from and ok it's 100 so you can see that this memory uh, memory map. So the EPC starting from here, 20H to 9F. The previous 00H to 1FH. Uh, the first one is uh, CRC CRC check and uh, adjust one. Is include EPC lens, which is important, and another UMI indicator. You don't need to care about this. Need to okay. We just focus on EPC, and uh, and it will be okay. Okay, it's starting from adjust two and NS nine F. So. Let's read the tag here, 0, 2, and 8. And let's check. I read the tag here. You see? Yes, it's different from the previous read EPC. It has additional 8, 0. Why this happened? Because, uh, because of this reason, EPC lens. This bit yeah if we set this EPC lens in of uh, 120 bit uh, 28 bit and you will display it 32 bit but default is 96 display only 96 bit so you can just uh, find 24 hex here so 
what we if we want to write the text so we need to uh, check this box yeah it's very important because it will uh, out to counting the EP, EPC length as per your inputting uh, for example if I want to write two hex or two lines for example oh I just want to uh, one lens okay one lens means four hex so I just write okay complete write date successfully okay I just query the tag you see it shows four hex one 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 so it ought to computing the EPC length okay if we do not check this box what will be happened okay let's make a demonstration for example if I want to read two lines and one 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 two 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 and if I click right if we in normal application in normal operations if I check this box and I click right button it will show four one and four two here but if I do not check it it will uh, only display the previous setting EPC lens so it will only display the four four lens and you can see that and for example I write this one okay I just write I just query text you see it only displayed for three and later for two does not displayed so I just need to check this box and just write again and now let's check the result the query tag okay so this is this checking check box the functions so just need to remember to check this okay mm. the UCAL date mousement is supported 128 bit so a mousement can write six lengths and let me check two three four so I just write 32 hex here it means 128 bits and just write okay so you need to check this one and write okay query tag oh no okay see that it has 32 hex here so it is the four length of the NXP UCode 8 and and this uh, here is a shortcut of writing EPCs so you don't need to take care about this adjust a length so you just input uh, EPC here and you will directly computing the length and display the EPC number so write EPC the query tag yeah. yeah so it's a shortcut so if you really thought it's complicated in this part then you can just write here and please remember each time you need to write four multiplies for example you can set set eight digit eight hex 
because you can write 8 hex, but you cannot write 7, uh, seven hex. You know, see? Yeah, because it the minimum length is minimal is one length, so you need to make sure it has uh, four hex multiplies. Okay. And um, and the next thing that I want to show you is and write and just a query tag here and. And you can also starting from from other addresses. For example, you can starting from uh, number three address. Okay, query tag. So first, I need to clear. Why oh, can't? Okay, need to close, open it again. Can start it from three. First, I need to read number three. If I start from number two, it also it shows the four APC one, two, three, four. So, wait, yeah, okay. So, I can operate the APC arbitrary, arbitrated freely at these places. Okay, see, that is the writing process. Thanks for watching. In next. Uh, part of the video will show you how to operate the password. Okay, thanks.